اهلا مصطفى اهلا وسهلا Good afternoon, everyone. We'll just wait for another minute for everyone to join. Okay, let's start. Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for attending today and allocating uh, time in your busy schedules to be part of our uh, digital marketing certificate uh, launch. Uh, we'll be uh, covering all um, questions that uh, um, for the long-awaited program. Um, Let me introduce uh, for you the, myself first. I'm the manager for marketing programs at AC School of Business Executive Education. And uh, we're having uh, uh, our esteemed speakers with us, uh, Dr. Mohammed Kiseba, Senior Director of Executive Education Programs, Harvard Business Instructor, Marketing and Management Consultant from AC School of Business. Uh, from D, uh, DMI, we have John Darren, Head of University Partnerships from uh, Digital Marketing Institute. And unfortunately, Dr. Darren Ryder would have attended with us, but he has a thunderstorm in Queensland in Australia. So power is out and he sent an email that he cannot attend. He's the Director of Growth and Partnerships at Monarch Institute and Digital Academy. Our esteemed subject matter experts and program instructors, Mustafa Abu Gamra, CEO at MediaSci, Omar al Saba, Founder and Managing Director at RippleMark, Shayme Ismail, CMO at L'Oreal Egypt. Hisham Khalil, CEO and founder of Engagement. Amr Zivzef, head of digital Paramount and Karat. It's a joint venture between Paramount and Karat Global. Um, I wanted to give you two important notes. Please, at any time and within the session, if any question pops in your mind, please put it in the chat box. It comes directly to me and we will handle the Q&A section at the end of the session. Second thing, please note that this session is recording, uh, recorded, so you will get the link for the recording just after we finish our session today. And now I will leave the floor to Dr. Mohammed Kiseba. Uh, good morning, everyone. Actually, to be on the safe side, good morning, uh, good afternoon, and good evening, because I know that uh, we're joined with uh, some, uh, some participants from, uh, from other parts of the world. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna be brief in 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 my introduction about the program and about what we the journey that we went through uh, to put this uh, program together uh, to come to light. Uh, in our effort in executive education, our main focus is to deliver best in class uh, practical knowledge, and I'm and I'm gonna stop it at that point just just because everything that we do and we want is under these three words practical uh, uh, knowledge that is relevant. Now, uh, if, if we move to the next slide, Amira, what, what I'm going to do is practically answer two questions, just two questions. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave the floor to the rest of my uh, esteemed uh, colleagues. While, while we're working on putting this program together, we did our homework, we did a lot of research we talked to uh, relevant experts. We talked to uh, B2C, B2B organizations. We talked to uh, uh, government institutions. We were looking at every piece of information that we can put our hands on to put a picture together. 
And we just wanted to share with you what, what came out or the most important points that came out um, in, from our studies or from this uh, endeavor. The first point is digital marketing. And I think you would all agree is, is predominantly to this point is predominantly skewed towards the tactical side of things. It is, it is mostly, uh, and it's not for our uh, mistake, it's for what's happening in the market. It's all about tools and uh, tactics and uh, new digital technologies uh, about networks and so on and so forth. And it's, and in, in large part of it, it's missing, it's missing the strategic part of things. So that's, that's the first thing that we found out. The second thing is we found out that marketing in general has this, uh, what we call the versus, the versus uh, syndrome. Uh, this, this dichotomy or this uh, split that we have uh, across the board, uh, the idea of do we do long-term or short-term? Do we think about uh, differentiation or distinctiveness? Uh, do we think about, uh, I don't know, digital versus traditional, which is the worst of all? So this is, this is something that we found out that is extremely uh, um, uh, plaguing the, the playing field, as we call it. Um, the, the third thing that we found is there are a lot of segments. There are a lot of groups who want to talk or to learn about marketing. But surprisingly enough, from a behavioral perspective, they have all one common need. So we have, we have junior and mid-level marketing professionals. We have senior marketers who wants to establish more knowledge about uh, digital. We have career shifters who wants to move into digital. We have entrepreneurs, consultants, and agencies working in the field. But, but what comes in, in, in common across all these um, uh, groups is that they all want to understand, want to have a practical, strategic, all-around view of, of digital. And that was one of the main, that was a very interesting finding. It's rather than us looking at different groups, it's yes, different groups, but putting them together would add a lot to the experience as we will uh, talk about in, in, in today's session. And the last thing we, we found out or was clear in our findings is that people are tired from theories. People are looking for practice. People are looking for practical applications of the knowledge that they want. So what we we always think about in developing or designing our programs is predominantly what is the level of knowledge that we can give you that you can use tomorrow in your workplace. So these, these were the main uh, findings. Of course, we have a lot of other findings. So these were the main findings that came out of our um, um, exploration phase, if you want. Now, what did we do about it? Uh, in a nutshell, first thing is we looked, we have the team of experts who worked in this program, and I'm, and I'm saying this without exaggeration, in, in our perspective, they're the best uh, in class. Why? Why do we say that? Because they are all about adding value. This team is about the, the very delicate balance between practical knowledge and, and theory, because you will need both. You will need to understand the, the, the knowledge behind the foundation knowledge behind every concept in digital, and then how do I apply it to my business, regardless of the industry or, or uh, the sector I'm in? The second thing that we focused on is how do we provide extremely practical um, um, knowledge, extremely practical uh, concepts? So we have simulations, we have cutting edge simulations. You have simulations that, that are not only the number ones and twos in the in the world of digital, but that provide actual understanding or actual practical use and application of all the concepts that you will take in class in front of you. You will see it, you will deal with it, you will uh, uh, launch campaigns, you will see the result of your permutations on your formulas. It's a very practical, um, uh, relevant simulations. All our assignments and projects are real life and relevant to what's happening now whether locally or globally. All the case studies that we will be discussing are around global and local cases with reflections on how do we bridge uh, the latest uh, in the field. And definitely uh, 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 with, if you look, if you look at the, the composition of today's session, you will see people coming from all uh, walks of life, all 
levels of uh, within organizations and all types of industries, uh, B2B, B2C. So the, this mix will add a lot to the experience uh, in the class and it is intentionally built for that purpose. The third thing that we focused on is the, uh, the journey, as we call it. So the design of our journey. So we wanted to, to walk the talk. So we, we, there's always you know, discussions about uh, digital versus traditional uh, digital marketing and regular marketing. These, these discussions for us are futile discussions. So, so we want to say as, as such, we want to say in, in the age of digital, uh, all digital marketing is marketing and all marketing is digital marketing. This, 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 this dichotomy or this split doesn't, doesn't help anyone. And it has its significant effect on, on, on the calibers that we're seeing in the market. And this is, this is one of the reasons we built this journey in that way. So we'll move from uh, providing the context, the digital marketing landscape, to the context of uh, why, where we're, we're operating, where did everything come from? And then we're gonna work on setting a relevant strategy. So linking the, the corporate, the business, uh, the marketing objectives with our digital marketing objectives and strategies. We, we and uh, against, against the saying that, that, that goes, uh, it is not what you say, it's, it's how you say it. We actually disagree a bit with this saying. In our mind, it is about what you say and how you say it. So we have content marketing, which is like the core of, of, of your success in the field. It's very important now we're, we're in the age of stories, as they call it. So content marketing is a very critical uh, course. And then we move into how we say it, which is uh, the, the tools and tactics that we relay these messages to our customers with. So this is the digital uh, execution courses, uh, one and two, it's two courses. And then we have the digital analytics. And in this course, we're, we're striving to talk to you about the mindset of uh, measuring what matters, regardless of, you know, or, or as opposed to giving you lists of metrics that you need to look at. We want to build together a mindset where your KPIs are the KPIs or the metrics that are important to you. Uh, and this is a very critical point that we tackle in, 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 this, in this course. And uh, finally, we're gonna put all this together with a, a very practical capstone with all our uh, experts being on a panel and, 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 and the team will take you through the details of it as we speak. Now, in all our certificates and programs, we want uh, our graduates, our participants coming out of any program with the School of Business uh, Executive Education to have their own business acumen. So we have a list of uh, asynchronous programs like uh, personal branding, emotional intelligence, all, all these negotiation, all these type of skills that you need to have uh, in the workplace that, that demarcates or, 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 or differentiates uh, your, your, your understanding of business and quick decision-making. So we have a list of those programs that you would be able to choose one out of to take in conjunction or in parallel to, the, to this uh, journey. Uh, of course, we are going to dwell now uh, in, in more details with, with our experts on, on those uh, topics one by one. Now, all this is our thinking process. When we were going about it, we thought, who's, who's, who's the best in class? We wanted to join hands with the best in class. We wanted our uh, program to be world-class. And when we say world-class, we want to take it actually globally. So uh, we joined hands with the best in class, which is the Digital Marketing Institute, uh, who helped us a lot with the content, with the, with the um, uh, simulations, with the video cases, with everything that is brought to you uh, within the details of the program. So that's, that's, that's it from my side. It's practically these type of things that we saw, how we responded to it. I'm gonna leave the floor now for uh, our colleagues in the Digital Marketing Institute to take us quickly through uh, uh, the, 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 the added value that they provide to the formula and then we're going to go through the details of the uh, journey of the program. Amira. Yes, you. thank you. Thank you, Dr. Mohammed. Uh, John. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Mohammed and Amira for the introduction. Um, so I guess the first thing I'm gonna tell everybody about is just a little bit about the Digital Marketing Institute. 
uh, who we are and what we're about. Um, so we are the global certification body in digital marketing. Um, we are the main membership body in digital marketing as well. We have we actually now have over 185,000 members globally. Um, we've certified over 30,000 students to date. Um, and I guess the main uh, unique thing about the Digital Marketing Institute is that we have official relationships with the industry leaders. Um, we work with over 30 uh, representatives uh, from the world's leading brands in digital marketing. Uh, so for example, we have people like the global head of e-learning uh, for Google, uh, the business education director for Facebook, uh, the president of the HubSpot Academy in Europe, we have uh, 30 of these representatives that actually sit on our industry advisory council. So the council uh, takes place on a bi-yearly basis um, and we get the feedback uh, from the industry leaders. So we get the real insights uh, from the top people in Google, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, et cetera. Um, and they tell us what we should put into our certification content. Um, they also uh, have helped us uh, build a significant skills framework in digital marketing. Um, two levels we're going to be working uh, with uh, the American University in Cairo. I'm going to tell you a little bit about that in a while. Um, and they've also contributed uh, to our membership content. Um, so... In terms of the Digital Marketing Institute itself and the physical nature of the Institute, um, so we're based out of Dublin, Ireland, um, but we do have offices in Dallas, Texas, Brisbane, Australia. Um, there's about 100 people that work with the Institute and we work with a wider network um, of a lot of subject matter experts who contribute to our curriculum, uh, etc. I myself, I've been working with the Institute for the last seven years. I head up university partnerships uh, with the Digital Marketing Institute. Um, we were very pleased uh, when the American University in Cairo uh, approached us to work with them because they're such a reputable university um, in the region, throughout the region. Um, and basically, we, we work with the world's best universities to help them with their digital marketing programs. Um, so we help universities in three different ways uh, when it comes to their programs. Um, so the first thing we do is we offer quite a large library of curriculum uh, that Dr. Muhammad referred to there just uh, in the last slide. Um, so we have quite a big library of curriculum developed by our in-house product team in conjunction uh, with representatives, as I've mentioned, from all the world's leading brands. So the curriculum itself, it's industry validated. It's very much focused on teaching the real employable skills of digital marketing. It's very much focused on the practicalities of uh, digital marketing, uh, teaching things like SEO, PPC, um, strategy, uh, etc. But it is also uh, very much focused on um, preparing people for the industry uh, and teaching the real employable skills. So that's the first thing that we do. We, we've opened up our library of curriculum to Amira and the team of instructional designers uh, at AUC. They take this curriculum and they localize it. They add the necessary local case studies. They may also add things that are important to the university that they wish to teach that maybe we have not covered uh, on a local basis. And they very much take that curriculum, they make it their own, and they make it suitable uh, for the student base uh, in Egypt and the surrounding region. After that, uh, the most uh, the, one of the other big benefits of having a DMI accredited program is that all students who study on the program with AUC will actually gain access to the DMI membership platform. Now, as I already mentioned, uh, the DMI membership platform has over 185,000 members. 
And in within that network, you can actually uh, network with these people. We have all different levels of professionals from undergraduate students all the way up to marketing managers in some of the largest organizations globally um, who are part of our network. Um, there's discussions boards, topics boards, etc. There's also a resource center. Within the resource center, you'll get access to uh, articles and case studies from the world's leading brands. So not only just digital marketing companies, but you will have uh, articles and case studies from people like Amazon, Netflix, Coca-Cola, etc. So all the biggest brands in the world have submitted articles and case studies there about how they do their digital marketing. There is also uh, short courses that you can do that are additional learning to uh, what you will do with the professors in AUC. Um, there is also um, good advice on getting career in digital marketing, starting a job in digital marketing. And for those of you who are already working in professionals employed, how to actually get promoted uh, into higher level jobs, how to specialize within the industry, what are the specific things you need to be uh, to be a subject matter expert within your area. Um, there's also quite a wide library of additional material that you can link into uh, for your learning um, videos, presentations, uh, case studies, podcasts. And we also do bi monthly webinars with subject matter experts uh, from around the globe. Um, these subject matter experts, they're usually the top people within their field. So one month we'll have somebody in about influencer marketing, maybe the next month somebody about SEO. And these people will talk um, in a webinar style format. And you, the students and the lecturers from AUC can join these webinars um, and hear the most up-to-date knowledge about a specific area in digital marketing. So all people who, all students who study on the course, uh, on the program with AUC, uh, will actually uh, become members of the DMI. So the final part of uh, the equation when it comes to uh, Digital Marketing Institute's relationship with AUC is we also certify students as well. Uh, so for the initial part of the program with AUC, we have what we call the Certified Digital Marketing Associate Certification. This is our most basic level certification. It's to show that you have re you have joined or sorry, you've learned the basic skills of digital marketing and you will actually receive this upon completion of the initial part of the program. Um, it, the certification itself is actually going to be tied to the assessment methodology within uh, the American University in Cairo. So uh, we have already gone through a mapping and validation program. Uh, um, project with uh, AUC to make sure that the assessment levels up with our learning outcomes on the Certified Digital Marketing Associate. And based on this mapping validation and approval exercise, we will grant the certification of Certified Digital Marketing Associate level, uh, co-branded with the American University in Cairo uh, to all students who pass the initial part uh, of the program uh, to become a CDMA Certified Digital Marketing Associate with, uh, with the Digital Marketing Institute. Following on from that, if people want to progress, they can progress and do our higher level certification through the American University in Cairo. Uh, so there is a secondary element to the program whereby students can avail of our higher level certification, which is called the Certified Digital Marketing Professional. So it's a step up in terms of uh, the certification framework. Um, this will be done online uh, with the support of AUC uh, through our 40 week program online, uh, four hours uh, on demand asynchronous learning supported by AUC. Uh, when you complete the program, uh, you will have to do an additional test. This one, uh, this test is not actually set by the American University in Cairo. It's done through a platform called Pearson View. And then through Pearson View, it's a three hour exam. After that, uh, you will get your certification from the DMI, uh, et cetera. And um, the certification itself, the Certified Digital Marketing Professional is the most widely taught certification globally, uh, both directly by the DMI 
and through the partner network in DMI. We've certified over 30,000 uh, students in the certification to date. It's recognized by the world's leading employers. Uh, we're currently on version nine of the certification. Um, so the certification has been taught by the DMI for the last 10 years. Um, and we have new iterations. Uh, so uh, basically, um, it's the most widely taught certification globally in uh, digital marketing. It's the most highly recognized by employers. Um, and it is a good indication that, um, you know, you can get uh, um, a mid-level job in a digital marketing agency or a multinational uh, department, uh, marketing department, or to become a manager in a small to medium-sized business in digital marketing. So that's the three elements that we bring to our partnership uh, with AUC. So first of all, we have uh, given them access to our library of curriculum um, to help them supplement, complement um, their, uh, their own learnings and syllabus that have been localized for the region. Uh, secondly, um, all the faculty uh, that will be teaching um, the students will be members of the DMI but also all the students will be members of the DMI from the registration date uh, with AUC straight through till after their graduation. And it's a premium level membership that they can get access to a network of over 180,000 um, students globally. Um, finally, the certification, as I mentioned, it's two levels. So the first level is associate and then as an elective, if you wish to go on, you can also do the professional, which actually involves uh, the Pearson view testing as well. Thank you, John. Thank so you. That, for yeah. the... So I look forward to taking some questions after um, and I'll hand you back to Amira. Yes, yes. Thank you. And now we'll uh, dig uh, deeper into the 20 weeks journey by our esteemed uh, instructors. Mustafa, please, I will leave you the floor. So the first course is going to be uh, covering the uh, the ecosystem. I prefer to start by uh, in in a very short uh, term, uh, covering the history of uh, computers and the history of uh, the evolution of the internet, how the internet started, and where we are now. Because the the the, the necessity of understanding this, because you have to understand uh, what exactly. Uh, is making and building the, uh, the internet space right now. Uh, so a brief history of computing power and a brief history of uh, the internet is an introduction. And then we come up to the, the second topic, which is uh, the new digital context. Uh, will, uh, I will leave this course to the colleagues after knowing exactly uh, where we are now in the digital uh, arena. Uh, who are the players, who are the movers and shakers, uh, what is the, their role, what is their business model, how we can leverage uh, their, uh, their technology or uh, their content, uh, uh, specifically in our region, because our region is a bit different. The nature and the foundation of the internet in the region is a bit different than the rest of the world, and also the content side I will also explain uh, the relationship between the agencies and the publishers vis-a-vis uh, uh, -vis the advertising part, which is a little bit problematic. We have uh, content where you can put your ads on uh, programmatically or using uh, Google AdWords, uh, Facebook uh, audience. And also there are some local networks, very important to know uh, publishers that uh, strive to get directly the ads on, on them. They're a bit expensive, but uh, they have some uh, characteristics that may also be important for specific strategies on the internet. And after that, we will touch base on the business models that uh, is used by uh, different marketing strategies uh, and uh, what are the opportunity uh, to uh, to be leveraged. In other words, uh, if I'm a, am I going to put a strategy and a plan and execution uh, for a campaign, I better understand what are the exact opportunities uh, to leverage and to put my hands on. 
uh, at the end of uh, this uh, course, we will uh, talk about the legality uh, uh, from uh, uh, privacy view, from uh, uh, data collections uh, point of view, whether this is data that you receive on your digital assets or uh, data that you can uh, collect, and uh, what are the rules globally, the GDPR, and uh, also what are the local uh, laws uh, applied in the local markets. Thank you, Thank you Mustafa. Mustafa, Our second Mustafa, course. Amira, Amira, sorry, Mr. Yes, Amal, go ahead. Mustafa, you don't want to be a part of your own field for all the people. I think it's very relevant to, uh, يعني, this is why you are part of this, uh, part of this panel of experts. We all want to say that we want to be a part of our own field so that all the people feel part of Thank you, Omar. Sorry, Omar. Yes. I'm an I'm ex IT. Uh, I worked for uh, 15 years uh, in AT&T and NCR. I started uh, the first uh, incubator, dot-com incubator in Egypt, uh, to 2000, 2002. The dot bomb or the internet crisis happened, and uh, I had to uh, 2007 to become. Uh, the first digital agency in the region by partnering with Google uh, and Facebook. And we leveraged the uh, first mover advantage. So we became the, uh, the, uh, the local digital agency for Coca-Cola, for Mobinil, for Egypt Air, for Procter & Gamble. Uh, and then I moved on uh, 2014. I started to work on data analytics. Uh, with a great comprehension for the Arabic colloquial language, we, we built our own platform, Big Brother Analytics, which is uh, an AI-based uh, platform uh, capable of uh, collecting intelligently data from the entire space, internet, social networks, uh, e-commerce, uh, whatever browsable we can collect, uh, analyze, and visualize for uh, strategy and planning purposes. There we go. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, Mustafa. I will leave the floor to Shayme, Shayme Ismail. Hello, everyone. Uh, it's uh, actually quite a pleasure and honor to be part of, uh, of this amazing dream team offering the digital marketing certificate in collaboration with AUC and DMI. I'm going to be sharing with you a bit of details about the digital marketing strategy and planning. If I would start a bit of a background uh, about myself, I've been working for the past uh, 20 years across uh, marketing and digital. I started uh, as a student in the school of Mustafa Abu Gamra, our guru, uh, when I joined in the early stages of tech and technology. So uh, you are uh, truly in safe hands uh, starting the first module and actually closing the course with uh, Mustafa. So, uh, and then I, um, I kept uh, working on digital marketing across um, agencies on both local and international level. Uh, and then I have moved to client side and I'm currently the chief marketing officer of L'Oreal Egypt. Um, I would be glad to share with you a bit of the digital marketing strategy and planning module. Uh, this, I would say, is the right starting point for your marketing and business strategy, capitalizing on what Dr. Mohammed said at the beginning, where now marketing is digital and digital as, is marketing, and the real marketer of today and tomorrow is a digital marketer by nature. So it's not a cherry on top of the cake. It's not part of a Facebook here and a YouTube there and bits and pieces of things that we would happily say and claim that we're doing digital marketing. It all starts from the strategy. Most of us tend to start from the tactical uh, approach, uh, the campaign, what are we going to do? Which platform are we uh, adopting? But actually, this is the right start. Designing the right marketing strategy in view of your business uh, uh, strategy, defining the real objectives. We're going to tackle a lot of topics related to what kind of business are you running? Is it a B2B or a B2C? If it's a B2C, uh, what difference does it make if you're designing or building a digital marketing strategy for, um, 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 for example, FMCG type of business versus a banking or financial 
financial institute or an insurance or whatever that has to do more with or an e-com with the consumer acquisition and conversion. What is the framework of digital marketing strategy? In this course, we will try to look together at every single thing that you're going to um, experience firsthand with my dear fellow uh, instructors in the upcoming course. So how your overall overarching digital marketing strategy reflect on your content strategy, creative strategy, on the technology used, on the selected platforms, how are you going to implement it, which you're going to see with uh, Hisham and Amr later on in the execution part one and two. And finally, how can you communicate your digital marketing strategy, whether externally to your partners, such as media agencies, content and creative agencies, or internally to your stakeholders and bringing all the functions of the company together? Because as we said, it's the business and marketing of today within the digital era, not something that is working uh, in silo, touch basing on the right KPIs that you need to address and how to measure and assess and how you uh, uh, look at that in details at the very final module of the data analytics. So uh, this would be kind of the opening and paving the road for all the practical courses that you're going to and modules that you're going to get together. Yet it's not going to be super um, you know, theoretical. We're going to have hands-on case studies on activities. We will develop together briefs for the strategy and for the campaigns and um, then we will hand over to the next uh, next module. I believe it's content. So over to you, Amira, and then Omar. Thank you. Thank you, Shaimi. Hello, hi. Zayko, how are you? And Omar Saba, I uh, I've been I run an agency, a performance marketing agency called RippleMark. We have been in business for the past seven years. We work with all types of clients. Uh, I've seen literally every single account type you can think of, from SaaS to uh, software as a service to e-commerce to uh, b2b uh, all types of b2b etc etc so the agency landscape and sides of things is probably what i'm what we're bringing into the course i also have uh, all certifications from the digital marketing Institute in ireland from cdma cdmp cdmm i just finished the any with the ending culminating with the master's degree from this from the digital marketing Institute in ireland so I sort of understand a little bit what the pedago pedagogic side of things, uh, how do they how they translate in real life from theory to practicality. Uh, I will be covering content marketing uh, in my course. Um, content, this course is very important, I think, um, because our understanding of content in Egypt is very narrow and focused. Uh, we have a lot of people who have migrated from ATL and BTL, you know, like advertising, uh, and, and copywriters who have, have who have basically migrated into the digital space um, with the same tactics and toolboxes uh, as old, what I call uh, traditional advertising, even though I don't like to call it that. But uh, just for lack of a better word, um, we 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 cover a lot of in content marketing. We cover a lot of copywriting practices from and basically what we call how we drive content on the search. Uh, side of things how do we become more relevant from a thought leadership perspective uh, and how do we write better content that can put us that can rank us in google and get free traffic and not depend as much on paid media as uh, we do in egypt in general which is us on uh, what we cover a little bit in the in the localization of the content of the course uh, here so we're going to cover the content marketing ecosystem in the first instance just generally looking at all the different types of good uh, aspects of content and how they they look like um, we also do a little bit of the egyptian market so i show a lot of examples i i have folders and folders of egyptian uh, of egyptian content in general whether it's ads or copy or blogging or uh, advertising or whatever um, second part is goal setting and content journey mapping and personas as well so we cover basically how to set goals in content marketing what is a how do different uh, consumer journeys differ in terms of the content that you're supposed to produce at each stage of that funnel and personas of course we're going to talk about how to how to think about personas in a new way that's actually more developed than just the traditional psychographic and demographic personas then we go into storytelling in an age of content shock because there's so much content out there how do we tell stories that actually grab attention um, of course, also the types of content that we can produce in that regard, which is a very simple type aspect of the course. 
uh, auditing and researching. How do we audit any account in general when it comes to their written content, where mostly on their websites? Uh, and how do we research new topics, et cetera? Uh, planning and creating. So basically, how do we put all of this into a calendar? How do we create it itself? Like, where are the rules, the, the best practices, what I like to call technical creativity? I don't, we, we, I really try to teach the creativity is not for creativity's sake. We really try to become technical about our own creativity in the digital sphere. And lastly, measuring and analyzing. So how does this all come together in terms of your KPIs and your metrics, et cetera? Thank you. Thank you, Omar. Hisham. Uh, Hello, everybody. I'm Hisham Khalid. Um, I thank you all for being here. Uh, Anna, my uh, journey was uh, the internet business started 20 years ago. It started with uh, launching the first uh, B2B marketplace for Egypt that was acquired by Ministry of Trade like in 2004. And from there, I initiated so many companies in the internet business. We went through uh, web design web app and applications. And then uh, we, we own and operate uh, websites and portals that generate more than 50 million page views a month per month, mainly uh, generated from search engine uh, optimization techniques. Uh, I have another company that, that is a Google partner in the field of uh, programmatic adverta uh, advertising. And finally, we have a new company that is focused on uh, interactive solutions, uh, interactive videos, and video hosting platforms. Uh, um, as many of you would know, 93% uh, of all web traffic is generated through search, search engines. Uh, and uh, in this part of the course, we'll navigate through the, the two pillars of uh, search engine so sources of uh, all web traffic. Um, as you can see from this part of the, uh, yeah, this part of the, of the course is called execution one and two. Uh, thus, we will practice hands-on applications, uh, application to simulations or reflections, case studies, and how to use the relevant tools in order to perform, perform the above. Uh, through the journey of the course, we will grasp uh, the SEO fundamentals, which is the search engine optimization fundamentals. We will visualize how search engine works. And we will align uh, our SEO and page search techniques with our uh, business ob objectives. Uh, in order to do so, we will apply the tools and techniques uh, to perform keyword research and then learn how to turn our keyword research into content. Uh, we will optimize the organic search ranking. We will understand the fundamentals and the components of technical SEO, on-page SEO, and off-page SEO, and how to use the tools needed to perform each of those components. Uh, finally, in this part, we will under, yeah, learn how to measure the SEO per performance compared to our KPIs. The next part of the course will be about page search. Um, PPC campaign strategies, how to perform PPC campaign on Google AdWords. And we will learn how to create a paid search campaign with Google Ads, uh, starting from how to create an account to uh, performing keyword research, uh, how to uh, study our targeting and the campaign creation. Uh, going along, we will learn how to uh, manage our, our budget, the bidding techniques, and measuring the return on investment from our campaign. The last part would be uh, about the, and you, one of the most interesting and, and new techniques and efficient techniques in uh, advertising, which is the remarketing techniques. Um, do, and, yeah, and then we will use the relevant tools and understand them and master them in order to perform uh, remarketing. Um, for now, I, I believe I would leave the floor to uh, Amr. Uh, he will take you to the next section of the, of the execution to uh, part of the course. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Hashem. Uh, all right, hello, everyone. Um, uh, first, I want to say that I'm uh, very happy to be here with the subject matter experts and uh, happy to see all the hard work for almost a year to come to life with the great support of uh, AC School of Business, and I'm really looking forward to uh, this certification. 
Um, first, I want to introduce myself. Uh, I have a master's degree in computer science from uh, Western Kentucky University. I've been working in the digital marketing field for the past uh, 12 years. I've seen it uh, uh, start in Egypt and uh, grow as time passes, and I've seen the different stages for its evolution and, uh, and how clients used to perceive it in the beginning and then, and then the, the extreme demand for it nowadays. Um, I've also worked in several uh, multinational and local uh, agencies across uh, media buying, creative, uh, social media, and uh, production as well. Um, I've worked across uh, all verticals from telecoms to FMCGs, real estate, finance, and apps, and, uh, and others. Um, and I've worked on some of the big clients that you've uh, probably heard of, such as Coca-Cola, Orange, MasterCard, Microsoft, Intel, Aram Beverages, Kraft Heinz, and Ferrero. Um, now let me talk about the course. Uh, Digital Execution 2 is going to be uh, a highly practical uh, course and the idea of it is to uh, make you able to execute ads by yourself or to be able to know the details of the execution so that if you're overlooking the execution of an agency, uh, of your agency, you, you can know all the details and be able to lead them and challenge them to give you the best performance. So uh, there's going to be a lot of practical work. There's also going to be uh, a lot of interactivity. Uh, there's going to be a little bit of uh, theory before practice so that you understand everything you're practicing <clears throat> and you know it end to end. And there's also going to be uh, uh, in class and at home exercises. Uh, we're going to be covering uh, social media campaigns on uh, Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn uh, practically. So you'll be able to launch the ad by yourself, uh, uh, do the budgeting, do the target set up the target audience, optimize and analyze your uh, performance. Uh, we're also going to be uh, tackling YouTube and display advertising in detail. Uh, we're going to tackle e-commerce in specific and uh, understand the difference of e-commerce uh, versus uh, traditional or other forms of advertising and what, what techniques can be applied to e-commerce in order to get the best results. Uh, that being said, this means we're going to be talking about uh, conversion optimization, remarketing, uh, return on investment, measuring return on ad spend, um, and these are very, very important metrics if, if you want to be successful in e-commerce. Um, and uh, by this, we'd also be covering the special, special targeting techniques, such as uh, custom audience, uh, creating similar audiences uh, across different platforms, be it Google or, uh, or Facebook primarily, or other uh, platforms as well. Um, uh, through this, you'll be able to apply what you've learned also in the capstone project. So, so you can apply all this again in the in the, cap, the capstone project. And the idea that you come out of this course understanding how the execution works, uh, so that you can do it yourself if you're working in an uh, in an agency or if you have your own business. And you can also supervise the execution or uh, overlook the results and challenge it if you're uh, working uh, on the client side. Uh, the course is going to be challenging and engaging. And I promise you're going to learn a lot in a very short time. Thank you. Thank you, Amr. Thank you. Mustafa, please wrap up with the last course before we go to the capstone project. Uh, uh, the last course is going to be focusing on the data analytics. Uh, data analytics uh, is uh, quite important because this is the mirror. Uh, for you to see what exactly you're doing. Uh, not like traditional media where uh, uh, collecting data is a bit pro problematic. Uh, in digital, everything that took place uh, has a footprint that you can collect and analyze. Uh, so I'm going to, uh, in this course, I'm going to uh, explain uh, what type of data available uh, and what are the techniques in order to be able to collect and how to analyze in order to generate actionable insights. This will help you in putting the right strategy. This will help you in designing the right uh, campaign and also monitoring the execution uh, during the, uh, the campaign launch. And uh, I'm also going to touch about the ecosystem within the organization, what are the uh, first party data, which is the data owned by the organization, how can we leverage, uh, and also there are some uh, uh, basic uh, tactics in order to get some uh, important data from other departments uh, to support the marketing team, like data from the IT, the uh, ERP, the CRMs, the marketing automation, if they have. 
uh, and what is also the role uh, and the possibilities of uh, introducing artificial intelligence uh, within the uh, within the organization and here also we're going to dig deeper uh, in the uh, in the data privacy we uh, and the data educate there are so many best practices uh, that we have to learn in order to avoid uh, uh, any problem legal or, uh, or also the etiquette of uh, collecting uh, the data without uh, disturbing uh, uh, the the audience or uh, the people that are going to see your uh, creative content or your ads uh, for example, the cookies practice, what is available today, what is going, it's going to be changed. It's already in the change. What are the, uh, 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 the other uh, possible uh, uh, small uh, programs that we can use in order to collect uh, uh, legally the data and be able to, uh, to, uh, to, 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 to see what is happening on your digital assets and what is happening on your competitor digital assets in order to optimize the uh, the campaign launch. Thank you, Mustafa. Thank you so much. And we will uh, end up this journey with the Capstone project. Omar, you can go ahead. Um, okay, so uh, the final part of the course will be uh, after students finish uh, all the modules. Uh, of course, from the beginning, we uh, all instructors tell uh, students that there is a final capstone project. The capstone project will involve every single element of our separate courses. So, for example, uh, Amr will give them something to do with execution within uh, what he finds the most relevant and the most takeaway uh, uh, um, set of activities or, or, or applications he would like to see his uh, students do in the capstone project. Same thing for me, same thing for Shaimet, same thing for Mustafa and same thing for Hisham. We will all give, uh, it will all be presented in a final uh, two. So the students will have two weeks after the end of the modules to prepare the capstone project in a group. And they will present whatever we tell them separately uh, will be uh, within the uh, final uh, submission. Um, and um, I think that's that's about it, Jenny, for the Capstone project. There's nothing more to say. We will also, of course, we will develop and we will uh, we will notify our students exactly where they will practice each and every single part of the, our tactics or our sorry our separate uh, our separate tactics and separate strategies. And students will have a very clear indication of what the Capstone project will is supposed to look like. I'd just like to add uh, something here, um, uh, Omar, on top of what you have said. Please, the importance uh, of the Capstone project is it will really help you all to reflect everything that you have managed to see firsthand, although it has been a, a combination of um, frameworks and, and, and theories as well as uh, practice within each module, but this will help you to, you know, connect the dots across everything that has been covered uh, in the different courses and different modules on a real case. And we're going to work together, all of us, to make sure that the case we're bringing or the couple of cases or the topic that's going to be covered within the capstone is something super relevant to the local markets, super relevant to your needs. And the most important part here is across a, a journey of six months, all uh, the, the subject matter experts are trying to uh, fuel you with the real uh, lifetime experience that each one of us has managed to grasp and get over the years. And we have seen it firsthand and we do believe that the reflection on a practical work is what makes everyone super uh, confident about the learning that they have grasped. So I believe this is going to be super interesting and it will show you really the impact of what has been covered across the uh, all modules of the course. Yeah. Thank you so um, much. Thank you, Shaime. May I add something, Amira, please? Yes, of course. Uh, I think uh, uh, if I'm not mistaken, one of, the, one of the questions that the audience might have, might have in mind is, uh, what, what makes this uh, program different from other programs that uh, that are being offered in the market? And uh, I want to highlight two two key points that make me very excited about this program. Although I've I've taught the digital marketing and other places as well. One is 
uh, it being uh, pushed by AC School of Business, uh, puts a lot uh, uh, puts a lot of uh, bricks into building uh, how the program is being taught. Uh, we have to go through a lot of learning processes in order to be able to teach this program in the best way possible. <laughs> and we're being challenged to give you the, the information in the best way so that you're so that you're uh, you're being offered uh, information in the smoothest way and that you, you come out with the, with the best results. And, uh, and we have the right tools to do that offered by AUC. And uh, two is uh, also the partnership with DMI, uh, which is very resourceful. So we have a lot of resources to offer you guys. We can give you a lot of resources to work with in the course and outside the course as well, because it's not just about the course. You're gonna have to do a lot of learning on your own and you're gonna have to continue. And you're gonna have the resources to do that uh, in the course and outside the course. And this has a lot of value. The, this information has a lot of value. The way it's being done is very professional and very uh, smooth and easy to grasp and would save you a lot of time. Uh, so I, I believe it's a great investment for, for anyone. Amr, uh, uh, just uh, one small or another thing is you're not just taking this course. Any Of course, uh, uh, you can you can take a number of courses online and, and certify yourself. But the course... Uh, AUC wise, I think we are in Q&A, so maybe I'm answering a few uh, answers, uh, a few questions that the audience might have. We, it's not just about what you learn in this course, it's about what you learn through our shared networks. You are being given, and I don't want to say this lightly, one of the best uh, panels of experts uh, to teach a course in a local market with local knowledge. And of course, accredited by an international institution. So it's not just the DMI, which is the only body that, that has sort of like this uh, clout all over the world in terms of they created, they wrote the book on, on how, in, how to design digital marketing uh, ped pedagogy, like basically like, so, so this, is, this is one thing, but it's also us as instructors, we are also available around, after, around the classroom, after the classroom, our networks, it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's not, you're, you're getting, you're getting the best of all worlds in my in my humble opinion like I, I i wish this course was available back when i started learning digital marketing seven eight years ago but like uh, yeah, yeah i think i think that's one of the biggest biggest usps of our 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 congregation thank you omar we have uh, questions coming uh, on the chat and i'm just trying to uh, to meet yeah, all Amira, the can you feel like the question is financial <laughs> <laughs> for the benefit of, uh, of the audience Amira, can you can you in a in a minute uh, give a, give a quick skim through uh, the administrative uh, journey uh, with the, the weekly load how many sessions per week yes, how many courses yes. per month and, yes. uh, I see happen. Ahmed is asking. It's, it's a 20 weeks uh, journey. It's five months. Uh, the courses are consecutive so you take course by course. every course is, the number of hours is as follows. We have 105 hours. Uh, the first course, which is digital marketing landscape is three sessions, nine hours. Content uh, strategy and planning is four sessions. Content marketing is seven sessions. And then both execution one and two are 14 sessions. And then the analytics is five sessions. So they're live, live online. Um, this run uh, coming in March, starting in March, uh, would be Saturdays and Tuesdays, Saturdays 10 to 1, 10 a.m. to 1 p.m., Tuesdays 6 to 9. And of course, we will have uh, we'll have Ramadan uh, within the journey. So time uh, is adjusted accordingly. Saturdays become 11 to 2, and Tuesdays become 8 to 11 p.m. Uh, Our registration, yeah. be, yes, Samar. I have a question. Uh, is anyone asking um, about the nature of learning between each sessions so should we highlight how students basically so and how they they will there's stuff that they learn asynchronously synchronous this whole life please, whole thing. please elaborate on that as well like, one on of the you. one of the important things in this course i think kulinaka instructors we believe in this is that we all self-taught ourselves a lot of things and we also learn things from mentors and we also learn things from theory and we also learn things from practice of course, practice is not you know, our course. We will try to give you as much practice as possible. Theory is also very important. You need to understand the theory. So, continuous learning, by the part about continuous learning, where it's reflected in the course, in that we will have asynchronous things, uh, asynchronous activities to give you. So, for example, there are courses, parts of the course that students will have to cover before coming into the classroom. 
So you'll have to watch a video, for example, on YouTube or read an article or a case study or whatever and reflect on it and sort of maybe send us and to Kula instructor how they, they, they decide to uh, ask for feedback and reflection on, on the thing that they learned on their own or whatnot. But we, we also do provide all the necessary material and, 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 and resources and how to look for information when you're stuck. So for example, how do you, con how do you create your own uh, version of learning something when it's missing, for example? And this is something we all sort of uh, have as a, as, a, as a natural feedback to our digital marketing and digital learnings in general, because it's a huge field and I want everybody to have a sober thought about this field. You, it's in six months, you will learn a lot, but digital marketing is ever evolving. So we will also, and I think all of us have this, this, this uh, intelligence is that we know how to look for things we don't know. And this is something very important as any professional, I think today is that we will teach this idea of self-learning and really strengthen it within the course. So it's reflected in a lot of things between each session. So the asynchronous part of learning, but also it's reflected in how we also tell you uh, how to look for the information, how to understand, uh, how to pick, uh, pick things apart when it comes to uh, complex subjects or, or what have you. But this is, uh, this is just to, re to explain that part. I think, uh, I think uh, adding, adding to what Omar is saying, I think this is a very relevant point. This, is, this program is about mindset. This is a very critical point. And th there's a lot of programs that will give you a checklist of the things that you need to do. But this, that, this does not help you to, in, in today's business world. And, and I think it was cliche a couple of years ago when we said change is the only constant. But now I think uh, our, uh, our friend, uh, the COVID-19 uh, the COVID gave us, gave us the, the, the wake up uh, call that we needed to realize that it is, it is actually a fact. Things are changing as we speak. So, so we focused on providing you with a mindset. So this, this point that Omar was mentioning is very critical. It's not only us telling you what to do, it's, it's putting into your brains the idea, the process, the journey, the, the where to search for information, uh, how, how to translate what's happening as, as Mustafa uh, mentioned, what's happening globally and how do we translate it to our nuances, to our market nuances and, 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 and local uh, happenings. So, Thank you, Omar, for elaborating, elaborating on this point. Anytime. Thank you, Dr. Mohammed, as well. Uh, I have two questions from Marwa. How are you, Marwa? Marwa is, uh, is an alumni of uh, executive education. Um, your first question is, uh, you get an assessment in the, in the digital marketing certificate journey with AUC. You get the assessment within AUC. So you, uh, because it's an accredited journey, you get the CDMA level certificate from DMI with uh, completing this journey successfully. As, as for the content that you access over the platform, you access the CDMA content and all of your instructors, your esteemed instructors have the CDMP level um, um, content, cases, uh, videos. So you as well, within the journey of the digital marketing certificates, you get the CDMP level content through your instructors. Again, as you know, Marwa, and we have talked previously, you have an optional path after uh, the digital marketing certificate of five months, you have an optional path. You have a platform of the DM, DMI Pro, which is the CDMP level. You have this six month uh, uh, access for the platform, which you, after that, after these, after completing this uh, uh, six months, you will have a Pearson uh, view uh, test. This is where DMI um, have an assessment with the participant. So our digital marketing certificate with the CDMA level, all the assessments are within AUC School of Business. Hopefully I, uh, I, uh, I explained it clearly, dear Maru. Uh, if anyone wants to ask a question um, live, uh, please ask uh, the administration to unmute you. If you have, again, questions, please write it down on the chat uh, box. Um, uh, yes, the last thing, <laughs> yes, the last thing that I want to mention is that we have a registration deadline for March round. It's 10th of Feb, not this Thursday, the coming one. 
So um, again, our administration put the link on in the chat box for the application if you want to apply. Um, the admission criteria is very simple. Um, it's a bachelor's degree. It's only the bachelor's degree, zero years of experience. Yeah. Great. Thank you. Thank you, great, great, everyone. Great time management, Amira. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Mohammed. Thank you, our esteemed instructors and John. Um, it's yes, again, and... <laughs> yes, yes. So, uh, again, if anyone have questions, uh, please send me to marketing programs at AUCEgypt.edu. Uh, we'll be happily uh, answering all your questions. Uh, and uh, wish you the best, everyone. Bye, guys. Thank you, everybody. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you so much. Bye. 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 Bye.